Hi, Etens. Uh, so we now move on to question four, which is uh, about an, ev it's an uh, evaluation question. So this question starts off by asking you, focus this part of your answer on the second half of the source from line 17 to the end. So in contrast to question three, which by structure, which asks you to look at the whole text, this is asking you to focus again on this part of the text, maybe the second half, right? So you're going to be asked to look at a statement from someone, it could be anybody, and to kind of think about what your views are about that. So a reader of the novel said, this section of the text, this section of the text um, where we learn what happened in the struggle between White Fang and the intruder makes me feel desperately sorry for White Fang, but he's also presented as a hero. So there's two parts to this um, statement. Firstly, that he's presented as a hero, and secondly, he is presented to be, well, we are made to feel very sorry for White Fang. Now, it asks you to what extent do you agree? So you can either disagree or agree with it as long as you are providing evidence okay, explaining and justifying your answer so it's important to think about what does that mean when we feel sorry for white fang do we feel sympathy do we feel a sense of, of uh, do we feel any kind of sympathy with white fang and the way um, you know does it make us feel sad about what's happened to white fang OK, and uh, he's presented as a hero. So heroic, someone who does something to help someone that goes beyond what what they are expected to do. Someone who does a great deed, um, something that's positive. So it's really looking at those two aspects. Can we find any example in the text to support this? view or maybe you know if you really want to you could actually disagree as well um you know for example i think you could you could say that this this part doesn't really make you feel desperately sorry for white fang there might be one part uh, i think the end uh, where you know you see white fang he could be you know dying that that could be quite uh it might make us feel sympathy okay but he's also I, I think you know the other parts I think he's more of a hero but again it's up to you what you want to kind of discuss so to what extent do you agree in your response you could consider your own impressions of what happens in the struggle so consider your impressions of what happens in the struggle so what are your impressions what do you think Evaluate how much the writer makes you feel sorry for White Fang or that he is a hero. So when it, the key word is evaluate. So when you think about evaluate, you need to think about giving your own kind of judgment, um, you know, weighing up or um, giving your own opinion about how strong or how, you know, how ineffective or effective something is. So you might look at an example and think, Oh, and this is a really good example where the writer really effectively makes White Fang seem like he's a hero. Or we might say that um, this example, although I think it presents him to be a hero, I don't think it's quite effective. Um, so put your answer with reference to the text. OK, so again, this question is asking definitely to give examples, which I think and um, many of you find easy but remember this is also you know you, you need to bring in your understanding of structure and language here okay so just because you know this question doesn't specifically say identify techniques or language techniques or structural techniques you know you do need to show your understanding of them okay and it's open for you to talk about both structure and language okay so it's worth 20 marks OK, it's half um, section A. OK, it's worth half of section A. So you need to write between, you know, four or five paragraphs here. OK, and when, when we talk about paragraphs, you can all follow the structure of PETA, Point Evidence Technique Analysis. Um, 
Now, again, the other things that I talked to you about it holds true. If you really want to think about um, gaining more marks, you can think about providing more than one evidence. You could try and identify more than one technique, or you can actually um, uh, give provide lots of different interpretations and uh, provide insightful ideas. Okay, so let's um, look at one example. Okay, as a as a model for you guys. Now we're looking at line 17 to the end. So here, what I would do is I will just draw a line. If I was you. I had a hard copy, I draw a line there. So now I know I'm focusing on the second half of this text. Now, if I look at the first, uh, uh, this first paragraph here, and look at this example, there was a great snarling and, and growling, and I, you could say a number of things about it. You know, the idea of a great snarling is it's something um, quite big, and is something that's quite. Um, you know, it, it goes beyond the normal, okay, a great snarling, and, and you know, there's big effort in terms of what um, White Fang does. And then secondly, you think about the snarling and growling, you can think about the idea of how aggressive um, that White Fang is here, how fearless he is here uh, to attack and uh, intimidate the intruder, that by all intents and purposes, would probably uh, be very dangerous, might have weapons and so on. So again, I think for me, that kind of shows him, uh, shows White Fang to be a kind of a heroic figure. Okay, so if we look at the model example, what I wrote is, again, this is really uh, simply structured in PETA. Again, you can kind of play around with that. You can think about, as long as you can include all of those things in that example or in, in your answer, you should be fine. So White Fang can be clearly seen as a hero and he's described as having great snarling and howling. So I made a point of giving evidence. The adjective, which is the technique, great makes White Fang seem powerful and intimidating. Here's my explanation, as well as suggesting how awesome of an effort that White Fang is making. Furthermore, because this is important because I'm trying to develop my answer by using um, uh, that word, okay? Uh, furthermore, the verbs of snarling and growling shows White Fang to be aggressively attacking and intimidating the intruder. The use of onomatopoeia also brings to mind the deadly nature of White Fang, thereby presenting him as a heroic figure. So, kind of rounding off that answer by answering that question, um, that the focus of the question again. So here I'm agreeing with the idea that White Fang seems to be quite a, a bit of a hero. But again, you know, you, you could, you know, it's up to you what your views are about White Fang. And remember, you need to write between three to four paragraphs. So, um, sorry, I meant four to five paragraphs, okay? So um, good luck with that. I hope that video has helped.